Celebrities like Kate Middleton and Mandy Moore have suffered from it. And for some moms to be, it's more than just morning sickness. It's an actual condition. In this morning's STL Moms Report, Fox 2's Molly Rose is talking with a doctor about morning sickness that can last all day long. Molly? Yeah, not fun. We're talking to Dr. Amy Lorene about it. We're out here on the Lakeside Renovation and Design Weather Deck. Now, Dr. Lorene is a slew care OBGYN at uh, SSM Health St. Mary's Hospital. Thank you, Dr for being with us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Of course, this is something that's not fun for anybody. Nobody wants to experience morning sickness. I know I did not enjoy it, yeah. um, but for some people, it's a lot more than just a couple weeks, right? It can last yeah. the whole pregnancy or how long? So for some people, it can last the whole pregnancy and morning sickness goes this really wide spectrum from okay. just really annoying nausea mm -hmm. all the way to what we call hyperemesis gravidarum, which a lot of women can be hospitalized for, and that's kind of the most severe form of the disease. And that's what Randy was talking about as she tossed to us that Kate Middleton had, some mm. celebrities have had it. Um, those are people who really spend a lot of their pregnancy feeling awful. Is that, is there any cure for this? So it's really about symptom control because the cure for it would be delivery. So mm -hmm. <laughs> the good news is it does resolve entirely afterwards, but People with hyperemesis gravidarum, which we can just call like hyperemesis mm -hmm. usually, is um, they can be really sick. And it does tend to get a little bit better as the pregnancy moves on, but they can be in the hospital for a lot of their first trimester. They can lose weight. They can be very dehydrated. Is there telltale signs that somebody would know if it's more than just the normal, typical morning sickness versus having this condition? There are. So... You know, normal morning sickness, you can definitely be nauseated, you can definitely vomit, but you should be able to tolerate fluids, you should be able to eat a little bit of food. You really shouldn't be that miserable. So if you're not able to eat, drink, that's kind of when you start moving towards that hyperemesis stage. Having that condition, I think some people might be curious if it can impact the baby at all or the baby's health, or does it not play into that? The good news is the babies tend to do very well. Good. Um, doesn't have any association with birth effects. It's really not well associated even with low birth weight. So the effects are really on mom and it does make moms miserable. Miserable. Any tips you have for people who are suffering from morning sickness? Yeah, so it's really helpful to first work on prevention. So taking prenatal vitamins before you try to get pregnant has mm -hmm. been shown to reduce the severity. That's interesting. And then really, if you start feeling nauseated and vomiting, really getting in early with your OBGYN and early care can prevent progression to that more severe form of the disease. I feel like the only thing that stopped mine was bagels. <laughs> I just yeah. ate a lot of bagels and that did it. But yeah. medical advice is good too. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much, doctor. We appreciate your time. Yeah. We'll send things back inside now to Randy and John. All right, bagels, that's the trick. Thanks, Molly.